Hello everybody, it's a Full Nation here and today we're taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars Imperial Shuttle Tidarium set 75094. Uh, this is one of my favorite ships in universe, so let's get right to it. I got this set back in 2016 from Walmart on clearance for $80 when they were usually $100 brand new. It has 937 pieces and 5 minifigures. Chewbacca, 2 indoor rebel troopers and the indoor version of Princess Leia and Han Solo. So let's get right to it and uh, see how it holds up to the three categories that I gauge uh, each of my ships against. So one is price. Uh, I think this set has a very reasonable price tag. Only $100 for 937 pieces and five minifigures is a pretty good deal. And if you find this on sale especially, I, I can't recommend it enough. It's just a good price per piece, and it's a fairly large display set. If you, if you look at it compared to the actual USC or UCS Imperial Shuttle, it's like a third of the size, a quarter of the size, maybe. It's it's very small compared to that, but for one hundred dollars and for the pieces you get and the minifigures you get, I can't really complain about the price. So let's move on to the next category, which is the build. Okay, so the actual build of this set was really enjoyable from what I remember. It's, it used some uh, really cool techniques and I really appreciate the space that they were able to get on the interior of this ship um, for as small as it is. I think the U UCS version doesn't even really have an interior outside of uh, the cockpit area. So this one, I was really impressed. Uh, it's an amazing play set. I think this was aimed more towards that. If you want something that's more movie correct and more minifig scale, then go for the UCS version. But if you're looking for a good play set, I, I think this is one of the best uh, LEGO Star Wars play sets out there. Um, you can see both the wings here, like in the movie, actually are on hinges. Uh, so that you can actually fold the wings all the way down into flight mode like this. Uh, it cannot be displayed this way. Uh, I'm sure people have built custom stands and stuff for it, um, but I do not have one, so I normally display it in landing mode. Uh, you got a blaster on each wing here, which are only adjustable uh, horizontally, and then your stud shooters are actually in the sides of those, right here. And I love when Lego hides them, the actual firing mechanism is right here. This pin actually fires it all. And uh, they work flawlessly. They're hidden extremely well. And uh, I don't think you could ask for anything better for your stud shooters. If they're going to be on the set, that's how it should be done every single time. Uh, you have a couple blasters here that are only adjustable vertically. And I really like, actually, how they was able to... Um, they got these little fins here and everything. And... Little details like this are, are what makes this set really enjoyable for for all ages. It's fun for kids, it's great as a play set, but it's actually a, an enjoyable build also. Um, I know they really have to pick one side or the other. I'm not a fan of how many, um, like the underside of the studs are showing on the outside of the wings, especially since this isn't really displayable in flight mode. If it was, that'd be a different story, but it's not. So anytime it's on your shelf, you're kind of seeing the ugly side of the under, under wing there. Uh, on the back, these are not really adjustable. They're just two, um, actually just like pistols. But they, uh, they snap into the back here for your like rear guns. There we go. And I really like how they made the engines appear in here. And the engines on this set are actually the same size as the engines on the UCS. Little fun fact for you. Um, they're scaled the same on the UCS. But really like what they did there with the uh, like those trans light blue pieces. On the underside of the set, right here, here's your landing gear. It can actually come up or down. I really like that mechanism there. You can see it from the side. Here is the cockpit. It lifts up. 
it actually it it has a hard time um, retaining this position right here. It does fall down a bit, so that's kind of annoying. Um, you can see in the cockpit there. I'll throw some more uh, high def pictures up of the areas that are harder to see on video, but. If we fold down one wing here, both sides actually have this panel that lift out and up. So I'll show you that from a front view. They actually fold down like this, which is really cool. They're on like hinges. And you have a massive interior. For as small as the ship is, it goes all the way through. Each side you have an extra missile. Uh, this box actually comes out And looks like you got a couple thermal detonators in there for storage for later. So you get a nice little box for storage. Uh, I'll throw some more pictures up, but you also get a nice little, a few seats in there. I think three actual seats and then uh, a nice little computer, like a navigation computer, I guess. Um, so really nice interior there. Uh, one thing I was going to show you guys, we'll get to this on, if you look at this minifigure, he's got the backpack. There's actually storage for this backpack, uh, on the interior, which I think was really cool. Uh, comes with this little, uh, block with a single stud on top and you actually put the backpack on like so. And it stores right here out of the way. Uh, one other cool feature about this ship is actually on the interior here you have um, what is, it might be a trap door, but I think it's actually um, the way to board the ship. If you look right there, um, there's actually like a little trap door mechanism. So if you, if you stand the feet up, I think you can actually, that's the way to board the ship right there, which is super cool. There's a good view of the underbelly of the ship. But um, it is just held on by these little Technic pieces that actually just press against it when the ship is flying or whatever. But uh, another cool feature there. So these fold right back down into place. Wings fold up. And uh, let's move on to our third category, which is the minifigures. All right, so let's take a look at category three, which is the minifigures. Uh, like I stated before, we have a Chewbacca. Indoor version of Leia and Han, and then two indoor um, troopers, uh, rebellion troopers. So we'll go to right to left or left to right here. Uh, this is whenever Chewbacca. This was before he actually got his stud shooter crossbow. This is the old school crossbow. I actually I kind of like the stud shooter crossbow better. I'm not sure why, but I do. Um, here's Chewbacca himself. Beautiful mold there. No back printing or anything, but he's got some nice fur printing on the legs there. But <clears throat> get a nice close up of him. Pretty much the standard Chewbacca there. Next, we got Leia, and she came with the small blaster right here. And this is actually a really good minifigure. Uh, I like the hair piece a lot. Look at that hair piece with the braids and stuff. And actually, she has an alternate face. Here is the more uh, serious face and then the little smirk. And she's got this nice little smock thing. And actually some really nice torso printing. And I like how you got a nice belt there and then the legs just continue on. Really close to how she's uh, dressed in the movie actually. And then you got your back printing here, pretty basic back printing. Next we got Han and he also has the small blaster. 
here he is with the um, I really like the like the trench coat that he has on is printed all the way down to the legs I really appreciate that <clears throat> Some nice back printing there also. And then he has the old Han Solo hair piece, as you can obviously see. I like the new one much better. But uh, he also has an alternate face. So here is more of his um, smolder, I guess, or whatever you would call it. And then the more serious face there. Next, let's take a look at the uh, Rebellion Endor troopers here. <clears throat> Got a large blaster for both of them. And then they both have some, some pretty nice camouflage printing. Uh, continues all the way down the legs. Got a nice bandolier there. I like the dual molded helmets a lot. Uh, they do not have alternate faces. But uh, here's a look at the helmet. Love that helmet. Really nice detail on that. And then this guy has actually a little bit of a different outfit same large blaster but as you can see this guy has a beard and also he's got more of a vest thing going on with a gray undershirt also no alternate face but here's another look at that dual molded helmet that I love and that's all the minifigures Alright guys, so my overall thoughts on this set is that it's a killer LEGO set. I'd say it's definitely aimed more towards being a play set than a display piece, but the price is great, the build is great, the minifigures are great. Uh, the only people that I think should pass on this is the people that really care about their ships being movie accurate in the right mini skill, uh, minifigure scale, and um, to those people, I would say save up the extra money and spend that on the UCS version of this ship. Um, it just takes everything that this model is and makes it even better. Um, it's a great LEGO set regardless though, and I don't want any of my criticism on the movie accuracy of this set to be mistaken for me not liking this set. I love this set, and for a long time, this was actually my favorite set uh, in the collection. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did then like and subscribe and if you have any other thoughts or anything to add uh, Just put it down in the comment section, and I will be down there waiting on you guys, so uh, There's more content on the way and uh, I plan on uploading every Monday and Friday afternoon, so um, Like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon